Spark is the latest production from the California Academy of Sciences. It tells the story of how we are connected to the universe, how all of the elements inside our planet, inside us, originate, often in these extreme, explosive events. You and me and the Earth, everything around us, none of it would be here, none of it would exist if it hadn't been for these stars that lived and died billions of years ago. It's the idea that really ties our own humanity with the history of the universe. The most challenging aspect of the show is the wide range of phenomena that it speaks about. They're vast and large and sometimes complicated and it's, you know, can we really tell the story in a way that is basically concise, simple, inspiring? Can we basically get the general public to think about where they come from? Telling purely astronomical stories can be challenging to make a connection to an audience. These ideas can be so abstract that finding a story that involves people and brings people into the narrative is pretty elusive. This is the great barrier that I encounter when trying to convey what astronomers are doing. Oh, the cosmos is so vast, the times are so long. They just cannot come to grips with the enormity of it all. So starting in a place that's human scaled and familiar is a way of connecting the themes of the show to the world around us. We start the show in the Sierra Nevadas. It gives us a grounding to look around at our location on this planet and where we're from and our connection to the rock, the water, the trees, the plants in the area. One of the things that I learned on this show was a technique called photogrammetry, where you take a hundred photos of an object from different directions and the computer just does some mathematical magic and builds a model of it for you that you can stick in your computer graphics. So when we're out at Horsetail Falls, we're capturing boulders and trees. Everything else is millions and billions of light years away and you know, you can never experience that. It's really the only portion of the show that is a thing that people can tangibly experience in real life themselves. We've got, I think, more data visualizations than we've ever done in one show before. It's an incredible amount of data. When we're dealing with scientific data, raw data from the scientist, we're visualizing something that may never have been visualized before. One of my favorites is the simulation that's behind me of the evolution of our galaxy over billions of years. Following the advice of our science advisors, we looked into a simulation that turns back the clock about seven billion years, and then looking at how the elements inside Earth and inside us originated across an absolutely enormous volume of space, larger than our galaxy, extending out into other galaxies. And so this idea that atoms inside us could have originated hundreds of thousands or even millions of light years apart. It's kind of an incredible origin story. We're not talking about the origin of the galaxy, we're not even talking about the origin of the Earth, but the atoms in your body, they came from vast distances, they're in you right now. We're hoping that when people leave the show, they come out thinking about themselves in a completely different way, you know? Thinking about their cosmological past. You know, that really beautiful, intimate connection between the universe and us. Really, it's about our deep connection to the world around us, that we all share the same origin.